All right, so what we're going to be doing today is um, I picked these up yesterday at Dollar Tree. And I only got them because I've gotten these before, these little packets. They're the, the paper pack. And if you look, you guys, some of these paper packs are, like, really awesome because they are thick paper. It looks like homemade paper. And if you've ever made homemade paper, it's, they're really, like, lots of fiber. And that's what these are. And these look like really pretty fall colors to me. Like, look at this green. Isn't that beautiful? Um, it's kind of like that. Like, this is a fall little placemat. But these are gorgeous. And I thought I could make tags and some really pretty ephemera and maybe put some in there. Um, so I have some of this distressed ink. Um, I have some of these. I these came in the packet and so I'm gonna make some cards and I thought I'd do like what five cards six cards and I have these I got from Hobby Lobby and then I had these and I'm gonna show you what I did last year so this was an old box shoe box that I covered and I keep some of my ephemera for fall in here so I thought I'd just like pop in here. See, I have a bunch of these already printed, or not, pr I stamped them last year. And so I thought, well, I can make some of these, pumpkin spice, everything. There's four, five, six. So we're gonna make, I have a bunch of those. Uh, we have some already done, so we can use those. Um, here's some, yeah, we can use all of these that are already done. I must have done those last year, and that was the end of that. So in here, I have, like, lots of little fun ephemera for fall, of course, um, that we can use. There's a pretty little fall tree. Um, some scrap paper. Some trash. Here's some some tags that are that can be used as well I got, I got a bunch of junk in here too I gotta clean this out and these are nice because these are like trade artist trading card size so we have those there's some burlap we can use that for some texture here's the the um this was a Tim Holtz uh whole autumn lace sticker pumpkin latte you can do and yeah so so I thought oh look at I have some more here here's some twine we can use so let's see what we come up with you guys here's maybe some of this i don't know we'll see we'll just kind of figure this out on the, as we go okay all right so as i drink my coffee okay so let's see so we're gonna go ahead and start with these we might use some of this or maybe some of this i haven't decided I like it uh and we I think we have enough for so we don't have to use those right so we don't have to make any more there's one and then we'll make good I don't know we'll have to see and we're gonna cut some of this so we're just gonna make some little pretty little clusters like cards to put in the kits just so they can have something handmade. So I am selling those kits. Um, I'm going to sell them for forty dollars, and that is um, that's what I'm going to sell them for forty dollars for the whole entire kit plus shipping. Um, I want to, you know, depending on where you live, uh, you know, will depend on how much the shipping is. 
I can do priority, so if that would be really easy because these would fit perfectly in a priority. So if you want me to do priority, um, it'll be 48, 40, 4880, I think is what it is, 4880 because $8.80 for priority and that would be fine too so if you're interested uh, in one of those please TM me because I'm only going to have a few of them um, and then I'm going to I might make one uh, I might make one um, Halloween uh, that one well, and they'll all be the same price. And they'll all they, essentially, they have 106 pieces of paper in them, plus all the, you know, the uh, they have three of those, three of these little baggies full of chock full of little goodies. So one has one to make your dangle. One has one with uh, ephemera like this. And uh, another one has laces and trims and all that to coordinate with your journal. So, <sighs> let's see. So those are those are fun, and I've been having a lot of fun making them actually. So I think that'd be pretty. So we have also. Um, I'm gonna use. Where is that? Because I'm going to use that one piece of paper that I that I didn't. Okay, I every time I get on here, I have like things just disappear. I don't know why they just do. And I never can find anything. Any other time I can find everything I need. The minute I turn the camera on, it's like things just disappear. And I'm not quite sure why that happens, but it does. Frequently. It's annoying, actually. Um, so. Anyways, that's what I have been busy 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 doing lately is um trying to get my all my things in order you know like all get, I I kind of want to streamline my crafting areas the prop is the is what I want to do and for those of you who don't know I am crafting in like a family area family sort of um area that I have and that I used to have my craft room but my daughter um, and her children are with me right now and that's okay there she's she, she's getting what she needs to do to taken care of and um, and so I moved my craft room to like a family area in my home and so be before because she's not going to live here forever um before i move back into my craft room which is in a spare bedroom i want to streamline some of the stuff that i have i do not want this much uh you know so much in my stash it's so it can be overwhelming so if you are just crafting and you know um you're starting to buy your supplies be mindful um the mo the best advice i can give is to be mindful of what you're buying uh really pay attention to what you absolutely need because this stuff just accumulates and it can be really like um over you know it can be it can be overwhelming when you start thinking about all the supplies that you have and you start you know you, it's just it's a lot and it can I mean it looks fun and it looks you know how exciting my kids joke they say you know you don't have to ask Nani she has something and you just ask her if she if you can use it and she usually has it and that's true 
But let me tell you, you know, when I want to do a craft or something, you know, it's it's it, too many choices makes life a little bit more stressful. And that's all I'm saying. If you're new to crafting, just, you know, don't go on that bandwagon that you need everything because you don't. Um, you really don't. You don't, you, you know, bare essentials. Uh, I think back to the basics is probably the best way to go about, you know, um, about crafting, you know, just getting you a nice pair of scissors and, you know, a couple inks. Just, I, I don't know, like, just Bare Essentials is, like, what I think is um, the best way to, to, to craft. Uh, let's see. I like these little, I've got this little thing, and I'm going to put a little, some of these blinkies. I have flowers too. I could use some flowers. Oh, look, I have a little. So I have this little guy here. I could use him. I look like I tore him off or something. Maybe some of this washi tape. Um. So that is my that is my goal is to try to get rid of some of this stuff and in the process, you know, make make a little bit of money, you know, because. Crafting is not cheap. And when I want to buy something, you know, I want to be able to, to buy it. And not feel bad about buying it because it's not extra money coming from a different area of my budget. Right? Um, so, again, I'm looking for something. I'm always, seems like I'm constantly looking for something. Uh, there it is. I was looking for that. So that is my goal, is to kind of streamline all my supplies um, so that I have less choices, you know? Less choices make life a little bit easier. That's why I really, I'm really loving this idea of putting this, these kits together. Um, it's it's fun. I don't normally mix my things, and that's going to annoy me, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. You guys, I'm just not going to do that. You know, I notice something in my videos, and I know you probably do too, but I breathe hard. I don't know why I breathe hard. Um, I do have... Oh, asthma, and I did smoke for umpteen years. I haven't in about ten, but still, sure it took a toll on my lungs back in the day. All right, let's put some of these together. Let's tear some of this paper. Yeah, so if you have a Dollar Tree in your neck of the woods, you guys buy you a pack of these are nice little fun packs to to um you know to do your to do your your little clusters i didn't bring any let me see if i i think i have some i didn't bring any You know what? I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use some lace. Let's use some lace, you guys. Let's use some of that. So these are really fun to do and really easy. Again, for a beginner, these are the best way to learn how to do some collaging. You just kind of... I always think five is a, a golden rule. Some people say three, but I like five things, five elements, and you have yourself a really awesome uh, collage. Uh, but you can go over, you know, there's no wrong. There's no wrong in any of it. That looks pretty, just like that. And then we can put this little bling over here. 
somewhere and that'll look just lovely so let's go ahead and put that together so we have one two three four five six elements in that little cluster using burlap especially when you use burlap with fall stuff it's fun and it gives you that you know just a different texture and oh you know what you guys we had um you don't have to put it on all the way either we also had these little leaves which i think i'd rather use the leaf than the bling or we can do both, right? Again, these are just so that everybody gets a little something from me handmade. Um, you know, so they can have and put in their journal. And it could be a little journaling card. Um, so we're not going to use that one. And we're going to go ahead and put this on there. I like using a dark one with it too because that was a little too bright but I'm going to use this to kind of tone down that orange I can spice everything so we are in October officially I am filming this on a Sunday is October 1st Sunday October 1st I think I wanted this little guy to be back here right here yeah. um, I went to go see with my friend she want, well we wanted to go see the um, Greek um, what's it called big fat Greek wedding three or I think it's three so there you have it and there you can see five elements so there's one two three four five and it just kind of kind of flows and you can you know you can you can edge the ink if you choose kind of kind of ties it all together and there you have it there's a nice little journaling card with really pretty um, paper. So we'll put that one there. Let's let's kind of do this in assembly fashion. Those are always fun. So I'm putting those kits together, and um, they are fun to put get together. I asked my granddaughter if she wanted to help me, and that was a while back, and. She helped me separate some of the paper. Let's try some of this. But um, it didn't hold her interest too, too long. <laughs> um, she's got other things she's doing. Um, it's really nice having having the grandkids here during holidays um, that's pretty I like that okay so we're gonna go to, and we'll probably because this is a little sparkly I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one instead of a leaf and sometimes I think I'm the messiest crafter I don't know why, you guys. I just, all my stuff is all over the place. But 
and then this will be our fifth element and we can put it like right there so see this one has a little bit of a sparkle yep I think I like that one again they don't have to be perfect nothing's perfect you guys um, just you know do your thing um, my hope is that somebody can you know use these uh, kits and it helps them because boy do I remember and I, I I started doing junk journals a while back but I'm no professional believe me I see some of these ladies on there and it's like holy smoke it's an art it is an art um, I do not you know this is it's fun um, but I just am you know I, I do this for fun I have never sold one nor I don't think I would ever sell one I don't know maybe I would um eh, I did have a lady ask if I because I have a cookbook um that one of the vintage cookbooks and I and I did I did um make those for my daughter my daughters and daughter-in-law and and she, she somebody asked if I was selling them and I, I wasn't but it's not totally off the table I still know the reason why is because I don't really have a whole lot of time you guys um, I'm still working you know I'm not retired and you know I have a, a job that takes you know a lot of my time I am working from home now though so that makes life a little bit easier um, because I'm home and I don't have to be out all right so there's another one that one's pretty I like that one the dark burlap I like that I think I like the dark burlap but much better oh, let's see. we have this we can use this to kind of you know I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas of you know what you can do with your ephemera maybe some of you have a little box like mine just sitting there waiting to be you know ready to put some things in it I'm gonna go ahead and make some um, cookbook ones too you guys I hit like the mother load of cookbooks for the the Betty Crocker cookbooks um, I have probably I think I have 15 of them vintage ones and I already used some of them to make my daughter some cookbooks um, I haven't made myself one I need to do that but what I am going to do is I think I'm going to make about three of those kits using the vintage ones or maybe more because I can't you know what whatever I can't use um, I, I just you know I just don't want to have this hoarding of stuff you know um, and better to just you know let's pass it on let somebody else take it um, I do have some ideas for some for some uh, oh, I like that this little texture and then I think I'm gonna use this there. Yeah. 
so yeah so um yeah i have some ideas to to send to for some happy mail but other than that i need to downsize some of this stuff i've got like i'm just storing stuff that's how i feel right now i'm just storing why are you storing don't store your stuff you know um I, I, the stuff that i have i should be using not storing and so that is my mindset and so i'm and it takes work putting these little packets or these little things together but i'm my hope is that it helps somebody else i can make a little bit of money um and you know um you know, basically it helps somebody else that's my my hope so that one's kind of different, but I like it. I think I would like it with a leaf right there. Yep, I'm putting a leaf. That one's cute. And you know what? I think I want to um where's the lid? See what I tell you? I, I lose everything. There it is. Um Oh, this is cute. That would have been cute on something. Well, I still can make these. If you know somebody who would be interested in one of my kits um like i said i'm only going to do a minimal amount of them i don't want this to be a job i will put more together and i'll send whoever wants them i'll send pictures of what i you know of the kit i'm going to have a fall themed so i'm making some my, that's what i'm working on now and then i'm going to make some some uh christmas themed ones and i will maybe depending on the supplies that i have i might have a couple of halloween uh journals that i may be able to put together a kit with all right well i'm glad you guys were here i'm glad you guys got to see the process of making some little cards some little clusters and some little you know um these are nice little uh journaling cards not hard to do you can get them from dollar tree i love the paper the paper is lovely look i have plenty of this you guys have lots of this so yeah so go check out your dollar tree see if you have those they also i have a couple different ones from different times of the year this seemed fall for me fall fall y'all anyways this one's nice i might use that on something oh um, okay so if you so when i package this it'll be like this and it'll have a little something in there with a note from me and yeah forty dollars plus shipping if you're interested in something like this please leave me a comment um, my email is in my description and um my about and you can email me and let me know what you are interested in if you are or if you know somebody who might be interested in this feel free to share this video and please if you like what i did in here um just give me a thumbs up and uh, a like and that'll be great all right I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Remember to create your own happiness. Bye.